Good afternoon, my name is Mandy. Welcome to my channel, All About Cross Stitch. Today is Thursday, October 20th, and it's been some crazy weekends. Um, not a whole lot's been going on, just spending time with family and such. Um, but weekends have kind of been a little on the crazy side, so I decided, hey, why don't we go ahead and get a video recorded now, and uh, you can be able to watch it at your earliest convenience. Um, so I'm actually on my lunch break right now. Wonderful thing about working from home is being able to uh, do things on my lunch break. A lot of the times I've been uh, setting an alarm and going and crawling into bed and crashing for a nap. <laughs> hey, it's it's a very big perk of being um, working from home that uh, I've taken quite advantage of. Um, <laughs> Things are going well here. My cat is currently chasing her tail on her cat tree at the moment. Goofy. Got a funny story about her, but I'll share that after I get through the um, stitching. So, got a few things to show today. Um, One amazing finish. Absolutely adored working on this project. And a few whips. Um, Not a whole lot of variety, I guess, given the fact that it's been, what, three, almost four weeks. There's stitches. 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 <laughs> um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for pressing play, checking me out. As you can see, I have a black cat. Her name is Stitches. She is the gem of the show. Usually uh, when I sit here on the couch, she likes to run back and forth across the back of the couch. So um, hopefully you'll get another peek of her again. Little girl keeps me keeps me well entertained. I love her to pieces. Um, anyways, back to the stitching. There have definitely been some projects that I started working on, couldn't put it down. Um, so my the variety of projects is not that large, uh, just due to the fact that I got obsessed with a piece and each day I kept you know going back to a piece um, versus you know switching it up or anything like that. So the first piece that I'm going to share is a finish. This, um, I look back at how I keep track of what kind of projects I worked on in that. Figured out that I only worked on this in for 11 days of stitching. I picked it up, talk about being obsessed, could not put it down. Started stitching this for a um, diamond painting event that's allowing other um, crafts to be involved called Drills and Chills hosted by uh, Diamonds and Washi here on Flosstube and I believe that's on Instagram as well and um, <clears throat> I went ham on this thing I could not put it down so it is called um, A Stitcher Haunts here from The Witchy Stitcher found it on her Etsy shop and it's amazing. I love it. And there's a lot of stitching to this piece. For me to have completed it in 11 days is amazing because that haunted house is full stitching. I did realize that I missed a pumpkin um, that I still have to backstitch, um, but I'm calling it a finish. <clears throat> And um, yeah, so what's actually really cool about this pattern is the fact that um, she has provided, the design, designer has provided, um, well, first of all, it's available in two colorways. So you can get it in um, just like some dark browns and creams, and then there's also the color option. So this is the colorful option. Um, called for colors with the exception of, I think, a purple I had to switch out um, closest to just because I didn't have what was called for. And I, yeah, I just pulled a different color. And then um, also, like I said, not only did she provide two colorways, but there's also multiple versions of um, the colorways. So in terms of color pattern, like the chart itself was in colorful symbols or black and white symbols. And then also one page versus like bigger, multiple pages, bigger symbols. I used my iPad, I used the colorful version, so I was able to, you know, kind of zoom in. I do not know if it's 
um, Pattern Keeper compatible, didn't even try, given the multiple versions. I made it work with my iPad. One other big change that I made, see those little ghosties? They are charted to be stitched in white. I used Krynic Glow in the Dark and it looks so cool. I love it. Um, excuse the crinkle. So it's a number four Krynic, um, the very fine braid in color 053F. focusing or not. Um, but this is what it looks like. I had this on hand for a Stony Creek um, haunted house that I had stitched. And um, I do have a white glow in the dark, but I didn't think that the spool had enough left on it to do both of them. So I just chose this really pretty green. And it has such a cool effect. I didn't even think about having the picture on hand. <clears throat> Cause I took pictures, here we go. So this is just the picture that I took with my cell phone, but you can see, excuse the reflections there, but there's, that's what the ghosts look like when I stitched them glow in the dark. So the glow doesn't last all that long, um, lasted long enough for me to be able to get a picture. Um, haven't, I never even fully finished the, um, Stony Creek one that I used it on. So I don't know how long it really lasts. Um, but I thought it was a really cool touch to that piece. Uh, stitched on a piece of 16 count picture this plus in storm so I've got well enough to do another project so that is my finished object um no clue how I'm going to actually finish it I'd like to try to see if I can find maybe it'll fit in like an 8 by 10 that I can just be able to frame myself we'll see another project that I worked on um Again, I got obsessed with it. I don't remember exactly how far, how what, how much I did this time compared to when you saw it last. Um, Northern Expressions needlework. Yep. Uh, Twisted Rainbow Sampler. This is the standard cross stitch edition. There is a specialty stitch edition. Um, like I said, I'm just doing the cross stitch, cross stitch version. And there we go. So I know. Since you saw it last, I really worked away on this darkest green. So. Stitched on a piece of 16 count Wichelt. I want to say it's like midnight gray. Um, it's called for to be stitched on a piece of black. I didn't want to do solid black, so I'm liking how these colors are popping against this gray. And again, obsessed with it when I get to stitching on it. Alrighty. Moving right along. This may end up being a pretty quick video. Um, man, I adore these colors. Mini Sea Opal um, is the name of it. Artwork is by Elizabeth Welker, I believe, chartered by Heaven and Earth. I am stitching this for my mom. I know I've mentioned that before. Um, she knows about it. It's not a gift or any, um surprise or anything of that nature. Um, I know I've mentioned before that my sister um, adopted one of her old whips to finish for her and I was going to do the same. She absolutely loves these colors and so she decided that I would, that she wanted me to just start stitching a new one. So 16 count um, white Ada, full strand, I'm sorry, <laughs> two strands, full grass. That's how I do my stitching. Talk about getting obsessed with a piece. Last Saturday, so like this past Saturday, I stitched exactly 1,000 stitches in one single day. Yep, 1,000 stitches. So I wish I had the before picture handy, but I don't at the moment. But basically like from here down is all new. Um, specifically from that one particular day. Basically, and then what I really was focusing on, there was a lot of ninja stitches over here, some confetti that I just 
really worked on filling in. And basically what I'm really enjoying doing with my full coverage pieces, especially with having Pattern Keeper, pick a symbol and stitch as much as I can within reach. So like, I'm not gonna necessarily stitch something way over here in the white, but basically I just followed. Um, this is a couple of different colors that basically I, um, I was wondering what stitches I was getting into. Um, that's just a couple different DMC colors that basically I picked a color and just stitched. So that was fun being able to get a hundred or a thousand stitches in a single day. It was a lot of stitching, but it wasn't just like straight, didn't do anything else type of thing. I was at my sister's house that morning. I got home about like a little after one. And so I picked it up stitching from then. I remember taking a nap, went and got food. Like it wasn't just a complete straight stitching, but I finished that just shortly after midnight. I do remember that. So once I had a thousand stitches, I put it down for the night. <laughs> um, but yes, mini C opal, loving these colors and will be excited to have that for my mom to put on her walls whenever we can get to that point. <laughs> <clears throat> now they're full of coverage stitching oh and um to back to sea opal because then i was going to mention it for this piece as well full coverage fanatics uh facebook group great group lots of great challenges i have been stitching um they've got a challenge this year for stitching like um whips and wonders is what they call it so they picked out 20 wonders of the world and basically you stitch 5,000 stitches for that wonder. And so I finished a wonder for um, mini C opal. So that means um, since I started that piece, I've now gotten 5,000 stitches done on it just this year. And next one is Dragonfly Clock. Um, artwork is by, I wanna say it's pronounced Marine Loop maybe, uh, charted by Pain Free Crafts and basically um been working on background stitching um oh i did get a i officially got a page finish on this one um the pages are definitely smaller than a heaven and earth page a lot less stitches on it um using pattern keeper though i've definitely been working across multiple pages in fact i've got a strand still not sure where that goes we're just gonna leave that hanging there um, but again, because of Pattern Keeper, I don't have to stay with a single page. In fact, when I was working on this uh, leaf, I was technically across four pages. So like page one, two, and then whatever is page below those two pages. Um, wonderful thing about Pattern Keeper is I do not have to stick to just a single page. And with as high confetti as this whole thing really has been, um, it's been easy to just, again, pick a, um, pick a symbol and stitch as far as I can go. And that's why we've got, you know, random openings like this and just like stitches all over is just because again, been able to pick a single um, symbol and just stitch as much as I can. So I had this past Monday off work, uh, was hanging out with my dad for the day. His caretaker took a few days off and I wasn't sure if my sister would be back in town um, by this week, but um, she was, she had plans on Monday. So I hung out over at my dad's house just so that he wasn't, um, well, it was my sister's house, but hanging out with my dad so that he wasn't home alone all day. And so I got to sit and stitch, um, had a rare Monday off. And so I was stitching on this that particular day. Again, I got a, um, a whip wonder whips and wonder completed for full coverage fanatics on this. I don't remember specifically which ones these were for, um, but basically I completed 5,000 stitches since I started this piece earlier this year. I don't have a date specifically, but that's been fun. I cannot wait to get more added to this. Um, again, just still stitching away on that background. I did get the leaf almost completely filled in, so that's exciting because that was a lot of confetti. A lot of confetti. Alrighty, last piece to share today. I love 
this case. Artwork, um, Midnight Messenger. Artwork by Ann Stokes, charted by Heaven and Earth. I'm using this for my full coverage fanatics. 20, what year are we even in? 22? So <laughs> 22,000 stitches in 2022. Also using this for Whips and Wonder. Didn't complete either of those. I tried looking the other day to see where I'm at on the whole 22 and 22. Because this project was started prior to this year, I can't just look at Pattern Keeper um, totals to see where I'm at. And I really don't remember where I'm at. So I feel like I'm getting close, but I I think I may be around the 20,000 mark. I don't remember. Here we go. I love this piece. The depth and dimensions that we're getting in this confetti, you know, just being able to look back and just seeing that moon glowing. It's amazing. So this is the far upper right corner and then just kind of working my way through. Um, again, just kind of picking up a symbol, stitching my way through. That's, that's kind of always been my favorite way of stitching on uh, full coverage, just kind of being able to, you know, page by page. Um, I don't want to say it's cross country because I, I really just stitch as far as I can. Um, I'm not necessarily going to count over to an area that's white. I did count here. You can tell that I, I can see through the light that I've, you can tell I've carried my stitches. It's all going to be covered. It, it, it won't look like I'm carrying. I don't care. I'll share what my back looks like. It, it's amazing. Um, there's an owl right there that especially like when I um stitched my heaven and earth eagles which is on the other side of the room um looking at the reverse side of it it really does look like a, pretty much a mirror version um with carrying threads and such but the details they look amazing um so yeah all of my full coverage 16 count two strands full cross it's my jam so that is the stitching that I have to share this week. Um, plans, if I can say that I have a plan, what I need to be doing, I've got it handy here. I guess, I guess I can say this was a whip because since I saw it last, um, I had started this. Again, I still have thread hanging. I had um, stitched some of this flower. So I finished the flower and did all of this um, last weekend. Michelle hosted a Zoom for her Patreon and YouTube members. Great visit. And so I really got all of that done on her Zoom. I don't have ducks or a row. I have squirrels and they are at a rave. I need to get this one done. My plan is to be able to gift this to, uh, to somebody for Christmas. And I've got a whole wreath to do around it. So what I'm thinking that I want to do with this not doing any kind of official like 25 seven or I know some people um do like a daily 30 so basically I think I just want to plan on doing like a daily I don't know half an hour or just picking it up and stitching for a while I need to get moving on this because I want to get it done by Christmas so I guess if I can say that I have a plan that's my plan I've been thinking about picking that up for a daily 30 thing have I done that yet Um, the only piece of haul that I'm going to share, um, I did get the Fangirl Fibers Dark Alice box, I think is what it was called. Um, I may or may not have already opened it, even though it was sort of a countdown box to Halloween that was supposed to start yesterday. I've already opened it all. Um, somebody enabled me to open it all. I was on Michelle's uh, Zoom. She got the box too. She wanted to see it all. We decided together to open it. So, but I'm not going to share any of that because in case others are opening it as well, it's a silks box and I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but it's definitely got a lot of gorgeous silks in it. No clue what I'm going to do with any of it. I don't think that there was a pattern or anything. All of the flosses have um, Alice type themed as an Alice in Wonderland themed names. So very pretty flosses. I'll have to find stuff to do them with. Um, but the only thing that I'm going to show in terms of haul is my Bestitch Me. Let's see, this is October, so this would have been September's 
fabric of the month. Um, I think I do the like every other, so one month is a neutral, one month is a color. This is a neutral. If you didn't, if you got your September or if you're in it for neutrals, September and for whatever reason haven't gotten it yet, don't want to be spoiled, look away. Um, but we're three weeks past that now, so um, but the name is Sand Dollar and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I don't think I haven't unfolded it yet, but decent size piece. I can get a lot fit on that or a big project. Um, beautiful neutral. No clue what I'm going to stitch on that. Add it to the stash like everything else. Alrighty. That's really it that I have for stitching. I didn't think that I was going to have too long of a video. Um, I guess just a little bit of a life update. Things are going good here. Again, stitching, um, working from home is what I was going to say. I did, let's see, it was at the end of September, very early October. I had a very quickly planned trip to North Carolina. Um, me and my mom went, so um, an extended, let's see, so it would be the granddaughter of my mom's, one of my mom's cousins, passed, sadly car accident I think um and so my mom wanted to be able to go and support her cousin and um for the memorial service and so I'm honestly not sure if I've even met the gal she was 23 far far too young it was a beautiful service I'm glad we could be there to support family um besides the reason for the visit it was um, it was a great visit. My mom and I drove down to North Carolina on a Thursday. Um, it took us a good 11 hours, I believe. <laughs> it was a long day, um, but I did all of the driving, actually. Uh, we stopped for food and gas, of course. Um, but it was an easy trip, easy driving. Um, so we left at like 6 a.m. Thursday morning, got down there at like 8 p.m. so that's more than 11 hours but like I said stopping for gas and food and everything um we stayed with uh, an aunt and uncle so it would be my mom's brother and sister-in-law we stayed at their house we got to see some extended family whatnot it was an easy relaxing trip um, besides, like I said, the reason for the actual trip there, um, some, a couple of uncles of my mom's, uh, were visiting as well. So, and their spouses. So we got to spend some time with them. That was a great visit. Lots of laughs there. Um, and then we returned on Monday that following. So it was Thursday to Monday. And, um, again, easy driving back. I was able to, I took stitching. So I took Midnight Messenger had some time of being able to sit there and stitch and such while, you know, the adults were visiting. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny referring to them as an adult when, yes, I know I'm an adult as well. Um, but, you know, mom and aunt and uncle did a lot of the visiting and I got to sit there and stitch. So it was an enjoyable few days off, very unexpected trip, like I said. Um, but took a few days off work and very relaxing trip. And so I'm, I'm glad that I was able to do that. Um, no way would I have wanted my mom to have make that kind of a drive um, on her own. Flights right now are stupidly expensive. So, um, you know, she wouldn't have wanted to have flown at the prices that it were, was. So, um, I think I've mentioned in my last video, my sister travels for hurricane work. She's now back. Everything's good there. Um, Funny story, little Missy talking about stitches. She's currently looking out the window. We had yet another mouse in my apartment. Little Missy found it, but she ultimately did not get it. Um, I was sitting here working one day. It was a Friday. All of a sudden she comes prancing from the kitchen with her find in her mouth. Sets it down and the thing runs off. That day, oh my gosh, I was so jumpy. Excuse me. I was so jumpy the rest of that day because the thing ultimately ended up running into my bedroom at one point. I've 
got clutter, you know, everyone does. So it had run off, wasn't sure where it went, besides the fact that I knew that it was in my bedroom somewhere. Called maintenance, um, office didn't answer, so I had left a voicemail. They weren't getting back to me, so I decided to call the maintenance emergency line. So I the message that I left, I don't know if this is truly counted as an emergency, but here's the situation. I need a mousetrap. I don't have any. I'm not good. You know, I've never set the quick snap ones myself. Not about to lose a finger as a result of trying to set one myself. So figured maintenance could bring something for me. They brought me those inhumane sticky traps. I hate those things. All they do is catch the thing without, you know, quick, swift, anything. Um, so I ended up setting a couple of those out. Didn't catch it. Wasn't doing anything. It was after five. I knew the thing was still in my apartment. I was sitting here on the couch. Out of the corner of my eye, out of my, like, coat closet... I could sit, which I knew the thing was in the closet. It was running out. It'd run back in. Stitches was laying there watching this thing run out, run back in. The thing ultimately ran out of the closet, ran down to the bed, bathroom. Stitches said cat followed the mouse into the bathroom, laid on the bath mat, and watched it run around. This little thing watched a mouse just run around a foot away from her. What did you do? You just sat there and watched it, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, so she just watched the mouse just kind of run right around in front of her. I wanted this thing out of my apartment. And so ultimately I got the broom and I was ready to whack at it. So because it had been in a closet in and out a couple different times. I had moved stuff out of the closet, just had it sitting on the floor in the living room because I had my, uh, traps up there. I chased this mouse. It ran into a tote bag that I have that I just had sitting on the floor that was in the closet. Ran into this tote bag. So I'm like, you know what? This thing needs to go. So I picked up this tote bag. I had it. I still laugh about it because it was the funniest thing ever. Here's a cat a foot away from it and can't go after it but yet I catch it in a tote bag I grab this tote bag like keeping it I hate mice they give me the heebie-jeebies so I've got this bag by the like full extent of my arm run into my patio open the patio door threw the tote bag out onto the patio the thing still didn't run out so I'm like picking the tote bag up by the bottom of it it falls out falls to the ground stunned and then it runs off. Mice can go live their happy little life, just not inside my apartment. Here, I'm getting all warm talking about it. So then, not sure exactly where it had come in at that point. All I knew was that my cat caught it the first time around. So, fast forward maybe a few days later. So, one day last week. I'm sitting here again, sitting on my couch. I'm actually eating dinner. I use a TV tray sitting here eating dinner, watching TV, floss tube, whatever. The cat, said stitches, <laughs> is sitting by my kitchen and you can just see that she gets hackles up. You know, she's ready to pounce. I go into the kitchen. I don't see anything. Nothing ever actually comes out, makes its view. I don't know if there was ever a second one in here. The same one again i don't know i follow to where she's going look under the cupboard there was a hole like in the very corner of the cupboard right at the floor level so i'm like i said i never saw anything come out of it but i'm thinking that was probably its access points i went and grabbed some cotton balls shoved in there for the night because it was you no know, evening hours and so the next morning called maintenance to come over figuring out where it's at. So they came in, um, they shoved some seal wool, like one of those scrubbers that's got soap on it, and um, shoved it in there, caulked it shut or whatever. And so I'm hoping that the thing is covered and that it's 
you know, that was the only access point. And I'm really hoping that we're done with mice for the winter. Um, but it's getting colder outside, of course, it's Michigan, fall, and you know, they like to get inside, find warm spots. So hoping this little one can be done with her hunting now. Can you really call it hunting though when she was a foot away from it and just watched it? That's the funniest part about it is the fact that she follows it, but she doesn't actually go after it again. <laughs> One last more funny part and then about that whole finding a mouse in here and then I'm gonna go because I'm starving and need to go get food now. Um, I'm gonna go to the kitchen. I have an hour lunch break, so we got plenty of time here. Um, so because I was so jumpy that day, when she'd find it, I could hear it squealing when she would catch it, but then nothing else would happen out of it. So I'm sitting at my desk, taking a little mental break, scrolling the Facebooks as we do, when all of a sudden I'm hearing the... <laughs> I still laugh about this because if it had been caught on video, it would have been hilarious. Sitting at my desk, which is on the other side of the camera at the moment, I hear the squealing again. When, this is when the mouse is running into that closet. Again, cat must have been chasing it or something, but my squeal took me by, the, it was the noise that took me by surprise. My phone took air because I threw it, jumping in surprise at hearing, <laughs> hearing those squealing. So the, the phone, of course, bounces off the desk. I was so jumpy that day when I was moving stuff in that closet because I knew the mouse had been in there. There was a, like, we've got a wand toy for stitches that's got feathers on it or something. We never play with it. It's in the closet. But that thing started moving and it just had me jumping again because mice give me the heebie-jeebies. Sorry, I didn't drop that here. I don't like mice. But it was a funny story. Glad it's gone. Mickey can go live his wonderful life out in the wild where he belongs. So that's my funny story for the week, last few weeks. I hope everyone has been getting lots of stitching time in. Hope you are doing well. Things are going good here. Getting lots of stitching in. Like I said, I'm getting on a piece that I just get completely obsessed with. So I think that's about all that we have to share this time. I'm going to go find some kind of grub. We're going to figure out getting this thing uploaded and yeah, go finish out my day. I'm how um, I'm cat sitting right now. I'm my BFF who so wonderfully checked in on stitches while I was out of town. She has gone out of town for a couple days. So I'm going feeding her uh, cat after work. I have been, um, my mom has been out of town again herself. So I've been going and feeding her cats. So I was telling my dad about it last night and he says, you're just the cat sitter. <laughs> it was so cute hearing from my dad. So yes, we're the cat sitter now. So I'm gonna go get food now instead of rambling because that's all I'm doing. So I hope everyone is doing well. Keep stitching. We'll see you again next time. Take care.